Hello guys. So in this video, I'll be discussing what we have to do in week number 12. So in this week, we have to focus on two topics that are permutation combination and probability. Both are interlinked. Once you are comfortable with permutation combination, then definitely probability is just an extension of the same. Now the time allotted is same and within this, you have to focus on four different uh, subtopics. The very first is the fundamental principle of counting. This is a simple way wherein the counting is done and we use the rule of multiplication and addition and we understand that where we have to use the multiplication rule and where we have to use addition rule to or to get to the number of ways wherein a certain thing can be done right this is very very elementary in nature but yes the number of questions or the variety in the question variety of the questions can be uh, can, can can be anything right so that's why this is very very important and then you have to uh, you have to understand that which formula and in what particular order it should be applied for any question related to grouping for example there will be question related to uh, related to making committee right if there are say five men and six women and we have to make a committee of four people right such that there should be at least one woman so how many ways this can be done such kind of thing or such kind of questions which we say that uh, grouping questions so based on grouping we have to uh, there are different ways such type of questions are categorized as questions based on grouping and there are different uh, ways of approaching these questions depending upon that what type of question have appeared. Now the third important thing is the distribution. This is a question wherein something say there are say 10 apples and all are identical apples and they need to be distributed among say 4 children. Right. So in how many ways this can be done depending upon certain condition. For example, a child can get all the apples right or a child can get or every child should get at least one apple so depending upon the condition there are uh, uh, the formulas or the same formula can be modified so i have given almost 20 different varieties of question from the distribution and i have used the same formula but what i did is that i have manipulated the question i have made the changes in the question itself so that the formula can be used so you can just go through that everything is provided in the theory video now, once you are comfortable in these three subtopics of permutation combination, then we can say that 90% of since 90% of the questions fall in these three categories. So if a question appear, you would be in a position to solve them. Now for probability, you don't have to go into the high end uh, concept on probability. Just stick yourself to the probability, elementary level of probability, wherein you should understand what is simple probability and what is compound probability. So these are the only two things which you have to focus. Now from the course, let me show you that we will be finding it. So once you log in into the course, you have to go to the modern math. So here you can see that I have provided all the theories from permutation combination specific to uh, the four topics which I have discussed. And then you can go to the practice problems. All these practice problems definitely you will be finding it challenging. But yes, after going through the solution and understand that how the concept is used. So with this, you will almost complete the, the syllabus of CAT exam. Now, in the next video, I'll be telling you what you have to do in the next 15 days. That is in week number 13 and 14. 